Hi there, this is really exciting for me. I thought I would just give you a little bit of my story, a little bit of my background, as I am down here in San Diego. You see, back in the day when I worked with Tony Robbins, after a year of working with him, I decided it was time for me to cut my own path. It was time for me to not go where the path may lead, but go where there is no path and leave a trail. And so one of the places that I would find refuge when I left his organization, I didn't have an office space down here in Southern California, is I would go to several locations and they were all libraries. And as you can see here at UCSD, is their library. I would go into this library and I would study and I would read and I would take notes and in my journal I would write things down and it was in this journal I've often told the story of George Lucas and it was in this library that I began studying about George Lucas and many other stories as well. Martin Seglerman with learned optimism and so forth. I would study their work and then it was five years later that I would come out with if you think you can. And I thought I would just show you a little bit about my world by showing you a little bit of this library and then take you to two others that I would spend a lot of time in. They were like my little on the road office spaces. So it's pretty cool to be back here. All right, let's go check it out. All right, let's go. All right. So these are the little study rooms that I would go into and I would check it out for an hour, sometimes three hours. Sometimes no one would be in here on a Saturday all day long and I could have these little rooms. Check this out. And it was here in this room. I would close the door. I would <laughs> sit down. It's okay. I would sit down and before, if you think it was written, if you think you can was written, this is where I'd have a stack of books. I would be reading, I would be dissecting, I'd be studying. And like I just said a minute ago, one of the great stories that I came across that I've used a thousand times was of George Lucas right there. Unbelievable. And that's where I got the quote, we are all living in cages with the doors wide open. I was sitting in here, studying, thinking, taking notes. It was unbelievable. So I don't know what your dreams and your goals are but you got to pay a price somewhere and, it, and here was the price i paid in learning five years of education before if you think you can ever came out so i thought i'd just share this with you all right let's go to the next location that i would go to all right all right so here is the second location i would go to rancho bernardo library and what i loved about this library that i would go to is I would go inside and spend hours and hours reading books and particularly in this library I would listen to audiobooks. It was back in the day when it was just on CDs and they had thousands of CDs of best-selling books and I would sit in there and listen to these CDs and write in my journal. All right, here, let's take a look. That's good. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Now, this is music right here. But back in the day, let's see if they're still here. I haven't been in here for... 15 years or something. Anyway, look at there's still CDs here. So this was the third location that I would go to when I was filling out those journals, when I was writing them, when I was putting ideas to paper. This is the little library. When I couldn't get space at other libraries, this is the one I would go to.
you don't have. If you think you can, go get it. It's all about think, possibility, achieve all your goals. All right, here we go.